Welcome back everybody to Bear Farm Tingle. We are here back with the go-kart and um, we've got the engine here. Just arrived, hasn't it? Yeah, and... Um, and what have we started to do with the frame? Well, we've started, as you can see, we've uh, started uh, to put a um, little layer of um, a, a type of paint. We just put a bit of primer on it, didn't we? Yeah, there we go. And so we sand sanded it back, put a bit of primer on it, stripped it back a bit. Yeah, so it's less rusty and looks better. We know, we know that it's not going to be perfect. We don't want to make it perfect. We just want to make it look better, a bit better than, than it actually is. is. Well, but not that this is bad. But um, the engine is actually a bit bigger than we expected. So. Yeah, especially with the um, clutch. So I bought one with this wet clutch on it because I thought it would make things easier. Um, but with the width of that, what we've noticed is obviously this is where your seat's going to go. Um, and that's where it is currently positioned at the moment. And it should be over these two rails. So it's causing it to stick out way further than I'd like. And these... You can see it's just fouling on there. Um, so I reckon I'm going to have to take the wet clutch off and just run a, a much more thin, um, not as deep, uh, direct clutch on there. Uh, you can see as well, we've got the um, rear axle through uh, and I also got through a nice shiny new brake disc and um, rotor carrier for that. So. Love That's ready. Carrier. This is the rotor carrier oh, in the middle, okay. the gold thing, and then the rotor, the brake disc is the, is the thing, is the silver metal on the outside. So yeah, good thing we got the engine, um, but pain in the ass that it's, it's too big. Yeah, well it's just yeah. So let's let's have a go. Let's take this clutch off. Um, but first, yeah, do you want to cross these things off the off the board, and then we'll. And then we'll get taking this clutch off and see if it makes a difference to the width. And um, what do you get? Rear axle above it, even though it's spelt wrong. Rear. And you want rear brake disc. Okay, that's that's it so far. So let's uh, let's take this wet clutch off and and see how thick things are after that. I'll put it up here and then we can have a bit of a work on it. So this is the um, Wiltec, or Viltec, whatever you want to call it, German. Um, I think they're the branded version of these Life and 177 engines. So it's the nine, nine horsepower um, Life and engine. Um, they seem to be pretty decent, decent price. It was about um, less, less than 200 euros, I think, which is a bargain. Uh, it was more because I actually paid for extra for this Clutch. Uh, to, for this clutch, ironically. <laughs> uh, I didn't obviously anticipate how wide it would be. But, um, yeah, let's let's go for it. Let's take this off, because that is taking up a lot Quite more space. Of space. So it let's, isn't as big as this thing. It's, yeah, it's very wide. So let's, uh, let's take it off and have a go. That's it. Now you can unscrew it. <laughs> Next one. There we go. Little master. Beautiful. What is that like? Uh, um... Banging noise. Yeah. It's when it's it's when it's trying to get it off. But it's like too stiff. Yeah, I could put it on a higher setting, but I don't. But I don't want it to. It doesn't need too much Hello. power to be fair, because they're not on that tight. Right, I think that's all of them, so let's try and get this off. She grained. So we've taken the whole wet clutch off now, um, keeping that all together so I don't lose it. Uh, I've actually ordered uh, um, a sprocket for that I was going to put on, obviously, this. On the but list. It was on the list, yeah, it's on its way. Um, a 15 tooth for the front. Problem is, this yeah. is going to need this is going to need a um, a clutch on it before a thinner clutch than this wet clutch system before I can um, do anything there. I'm also gonna have a look at if I can take anything off the top here to make it a bit narrower. But what I'll do is I'll put all this, put all this wet clutch stuff out the way um, and we'll put it back on the car, um, the engine in position, just to see kind of what the space is like and see how it kind of lines up a bit better. So, See if we've made a bit more room there. So let's kind of line that one up and see if we've made any more space. 
So having taken that clutch off, you can see there's a lot more space, but what we do need to get is the mounting plate at the bottom. It still needs to obviously be able to sit on the engine mount and that's still fairly far out. So I don't know how wide that plate um, for the engine mount is gonna be. So I need to check to see if I need an extra plate on top of that, a bit of metal maybe that I can drill out um, as a bit of an adapter plate to make it fit. But that's given us a bit more space uh, for that shaft there. But I think that output shaft is, well, I know it's bigger than the other ones. So we now need to look for a clutch um, that I can put on that one. Um, and I was just talking to Zach as well. We, what we might do is get a new exhaust coming out the back of that. It'll make a lot more space for, because yeah. this is, um, well, it, it's fairly big. Yeah, it's fairly big. So um, we've also worked out, well, we didn't really have to work it out. It's pretty simple. Um, we just have to take this off, then I'll take this entire thing off. Yeah, we can put a new exhaust on there. Let's hope it's just like that and there's no extra um, I think stuff. I think that's, I think it's pretty simple in that way. But um, we now need to wait. So the next time you'll see us, um, we'll, we'll have more parts. We'll have a few more parts. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll stop here and we'll pick it up again when the postman's been and hopefully we can have more paint so we can paint the rest of this thing. Um, and then once we've painted it, I'm hoping that the <laughs> things like, so what I'm waiting on, we have some, uh, all of the parts for the rear axle um, to come. I'm waiting on a courier to actually pick up some wheels. There's a seat on its way. There's plenty of stuff coming, but like a really bad jigsaw, if you don't have the right piece at the right time, you can't really do anything. Um, <laughs> and with every, with anything, I need to I need to get this paint on first. Uh, and then once we've done that, I really need to then look at seeing when the engine mount arrives and we can try, and me and Zach will see if we can get this engine on somehow but now I'm looking at the space between the two so I've ordered a um, the sprocket for the back there for the rear axle I've ordered a 60 64 tooth uh, 64 um, tooth spline a uh, 64 tooth sprocket so it means it's got 64 um, this is bits a sprocket on it. here isn't it no that's a shaft so a sprocket fits on that oh, and yeah, the sprocket is the, like on a bike yeah yeah the uh, chains yeah, the, the chains go on it, um, but I'm thinking the that, yeah, the cogs. So I'm thinking I'm going to need a smaller one on the back there. But anyway, the, the sprockets aren't actually that expensive. They're only about 25 quid. So we'll wait until some stuff arrives and we can start playing around. Um, but hopefully soon in the next few days, we can get some more parts and we'll start putting some more stuff together. And we're back. With the go-kart and we've got more parts. We have more parts. Uh, we have a beautiful, and it is actually absolutely beautiful, Kevlar seat. Um, and you can see at the back we have... We've got the new rear hub with the brake New rear discs hubs and, and the disc. We'll show everything. you the disc uh, and well, the last, last one. time. Um, but it looks really nice. I'm so to, excited. It's coming so nice. It's starting to look quite good. Um, but there is a potential problem with our lovely new seat yeah. because everything we get then comes with a challenge. And the challenge with that is firstly, my ass is far too big <laughs> for that seat. But secondly, it's very narrow across the top. And it might have been the reason that it was actually being sold because if you notice the, um, the brackets where the seat is supposed to sit, that goes there if that lines up, but then you go to the other side and you have a massive gap. So the top you are looking at probably, and well, you can see from the back, the gap between the two, just about. So I'm not sure if it was uh, for, a, for a cadet seat or something, um, but it's not exactly the best of, fitments so i've got firstly i've been eating my way through lockdown so far so <laughs> me and zach have been on the bike uh in our um, basement garage. gym it was, um, it was one heck of a ride my, my i have not been on a bike for ages it's so been we did so long. we did 30 minutes uh on um, on swift 15k 
15 kilometers. And so um, that my aim is to actually try and fit my ass in this seat. And my bum uh, still hurts from sitting down. Oh, it will. Um, but when it comes to this, there are ways I'm thinking around trying to get it to fit because I, I, I do like the look of this. Oh, I think the Kev nice Kevlar, the gold, and the black is going to look really nice together. Um, but I need, <laughs> but it need it needs to work. So if I if you see here, one of my thoughts is um, getting some bar and trying to run a kind of a bar that goes round here, and then I can attach this. So if we run some bar that runs, you can hold that seat in that position for me, Zach. Like that. Yeah, anyway, like that. So if we can run some bar then that goes around the back here and into there, kind of like that sort of shape. Um, a bit cold, I can hear you yeah, from here. Sorry, I'm sorry. Su surprisingly cold. I was not expecting this. Um, so if I can run some something to kind of, essentially I just want it to um, support the seat from the back there. Uh, and hold it in place just so it can kind of go around the edge of it. So I'll I'll work something out. Um, hubs wise, uh, like Zach said, they've arrived. They're not on fully because you can see they're not lined up with this part. So yeah, I'm really waiting on uh, the main thing that we need to arrive from the back here, just to kind of test fit it all together and positioning. I'm still waiting on um, not just the bearing carriers, but also the sprocket um, carrier and whatever you call it and the sprocket itself but one of the main things i want to do from a test fitment point of view is uh, i really want this engine mount to arrive um, i know the paint is going to come at some point so whatever happens once we test fit it all we can take it all back off and then finish the painting so that's not really a pain um, i just really want to see where the engine's going to sit and how it will fit on there and then I can line up um, the rest of the rear axle with it uh, so yeah that's the main thing I really want to come I want to finish the rear axle get the uh, engine in place um, I have ordered a clutch um, just a, a small clutch that should fit directly to the the spline on there um, so that's on its way some point um, but mainly it's about trying to get the engine test fitted and again I'll kind of work something out oh, with the cool. seat. So we've made some progress, we do have some parts but we still need to uh, get this engine fitted yeah. um, properly so we'll How keep... How does this uh, stick on? So that fits on with the bearing carriers, so the bearing carriers will go in here. Um, and this slides through it. So this is why I haven't fully fitted these yet, because mm -hmm. there's no point fully fitting it, because once I put the bearing carriers in these, all these little, um, not the holes, these slots here, here, and one over there, there's three. Mm -hmm. So these will sit, they will have a bearing carrier in each, and okay. this axle will slide through um, the holes in the middle, and then you can start fitting all the things to it. So there's no point fitting it okay. until we've put it through those holes anyway. Uh, so we're gonna keep an eye on the postman uh, delivering parcels. We have a lot of stuff due this week, which will hopefully push things on a bit more. Um, I've got a notification that the wheels have been shipped today, so they should be with us by the end of the week as well. So another cool thing would be to get at least at least get it rolling as well. Mm -hmm. um, but what we'll probably crack on with as well is uh, as soon as we've got some bits, so we can get the rear axle um, fully fitted and we can get it rolling. Uh, then we can start to see it all in a bit more of a rolling shell and ready to look a bit more <laughs> go karty, go -karty um, which we're really looking forward to. Because once we've kind of got that to that stage, everything else shouldn't really take that long. Um, it's really about mounting, once you've got the engine mounted as well, um, and it's rolling, it, that's kind of it. It should, should be getting there, maybe. I've got a question for the um, seats. Uh, yeah. Well, not a question, mm. but a, a, um, a um, solution. Oh, okay. That's a we, solution. Okay, what well, if we just put both, like, in, in here and here, but this one's longer than... Um... Yeah, so you you can do that, and I've even got some of some of these things that I used on, an, on another project. So these are, like, rubber bungs, so you can fit those either side between 
And in fact, you should run these anyway because you don't want this to crack. It's quite brittle. Um, and it comes on a lot of pressure with people sitting in and out. The problem is with that is you don't want to run a bung that's too wide because it's putting a lot of pressure then on the bolt every time you get in and out. Um, and it and it can wear a hole in the in the side of the material. Oh, because when it shakes around a lot, it'll like yeah. And people getting in and out. So if you imagine that's a lot of pressure is going to be putting on it, going in and out like that. Uh, so you don't want it to risk cracking. Worst case scenario is um, I I find another seat if I can't find a solution to make this work. Mm. Um, but I I do like the look of the Kevlar seat, even though my Ours doesn't fit in and everyone else's does in this family because you can see that Zach's obviously rather slight. I'm tiny. And everyone else is obviously younger and smaller than myself. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're going to keep a watch on the postman for the next few days and then hopefully be able to crack on with some more carty work. Ideally, by the end of this week, we should have the next episode up and this thing will be rolling. That will be ideal. Even more ideal yeah. will be it will be rolling and... We'll have an engine mounted but it really depends on deliveries yeah. and whenever the postman delivers stuff we're only getting actual scheduled post like whatever it is the normal postman he's only coming once a week or once every two weeks at the moment um yeah if it's assigned for delivery it comes every well whenever it comes it just takes a bit longer so let's keep an eye out i'm running out to the post box about every three times a day um we've got a few things today post bank holiday so let's hope rest of the week we can get some done Anyway, we'll sign off for this one and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys. We'll see you guys in the next time when we actually get the wheels, hopefully the other parts, but that's basically our main goal. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, ring the notification bell so you can be notified um, when we first post a video. Bye guys. See you in the next one. No fear. It's only right, my head's up, I stay strong. stay strong, forever young, may you live long, with perseverance, hold on and stand tall, never back down with my back again.